Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Eclipse Vox, Real-Time Voice Writing, I'm going to show you how you can start writing real-time in Eclipse now that your Eclipse user and Dragon user profile have been created and set up. The content of this video is based on the training provided in Real-Time Voice Writing 9th Edition for Court Reporting, written by Betty A. Keys. Writing real-time with Eclipse Fox and Dragon is simple and straightforward. I'm going to open up Eclipse version 9, and I'm going to choose my Ashley Vox user that I've already been preparing. Now that I'm inside of Eclipse and inside of my Vox user that I've previously set up in the previous videos, I'm ready to start writing real-time. There are two ways in Eclipse that you can start writing real-time. The first way is by hitting the real-time button. This will take you into a file automatically, and it'll have an automatic name based on your user settings. In the Real-Time tab, there's a section that says the Auto Rename Real-Time Jobs too, and if you hit the Real-Time button to start real-time, it'll get a name that follows this format. It'll be RT, the month, day, year, hyphen, hour, and minute that the job was started. This can be great if you just want a single button press to start real-time, and you don't have to set anything up ahead of time. If there are settings that you'd like to change or dictionaries that you'd like to change before you start your job, however, you can also click the Translate button and select Real Time and then press OK. I'm going to start real time using this method and I'll press OK. Eclipse will prompt me that I need to name the file, so I'll press OK once more. And I'm going to call this file Vox Practice. After pressing OK to the file name, I'm brought to the speaker list. Since I imported both the settings and the dictionaries included with the purchase of Eclipse Vox, this is all all ready to go for me and I don't need to do any extra setup. All I need to do is fill in my current speakers. I'm going to put two speakers for this job. And so when I use my utterance for speaker one, which is speed one, I'll get Mr. Smith. And when I use my utterance for speaker two, which is speed two, I'll get Mrs. Jones. I'll press OK to start the real-time file, and now Dragon will prompt me to choose my Dragon profile. I'm going to choose Ashley Vox, which is the Dragon profile that I've been working with in training, and I'll press Open. My settings are set to automatically start with the microphone on, so I did toggle it off so that I could speak a little bit before I begin dictating. To toggle voice input on and off, you can hit the Vox mic button, or in your system tray, there will also be a Dragon microphone icon here that you can use to toggle Dragon's microphone on and off. Either option is fine. Once I'm ready to begin dictating, I can simply hit the Vox mic icon, and everything that I say will begin to flow into the transcript. I'm going to go ahead and hit Vox mic now, and I will begin speech input, and I'll start dictating a bit. Spee one Keek, what is your name? Cack, my name is Ashley Van Dyke. Keek, where do you work? Cack, I work for Advantage Software. Keek, where are they located? Cack, they're located in Stewart, Ka, Florida. Keek, that's all the questions I have, Pirk. Spee two Keek, Mrs. Van Dyke, what do you do for Advantage Software? Cack, I make YouTube videos and other documentation, among other responsibilities. Keek, how long have you worked for Advantage Software? Cack, for 10 years. Pirk. I've toggled my microphone back off, and you see that everything that I dictated into Eclipse has come out correctly. In the case of my name, this is something that I've corrected before so that it does know how to spell my name correctly. However, there are no other corrections in this document that I need to put through. If I'm done dictating into a particular transcript and I'd like to end the translation, I can press Shift-Alt-T or go to Production Stop Translation. I'll press Shift-Alt-T and translation is complete, and I can press OK. At this point, I can begin editing and pushing through any corrections to my voice model if I'd like to. Or I can close the file and simply open another real-time file to begin dictating again. In addition to pressing Shift-Alt-T to end translation, you can also do Control-Q, which will close the file and end translation. I'll hit Control-Q right now to close the file. And, if desired, I can immediately press the real-time button, for instance, to begin another real-time file. I'll skip the speaker creation part for this job. Since I haven't made any meaningful changes to my voice model, I'm not going to save my speech files. I've now been taken into a job, and I turned my microphone off for a moment. 
As soon as I toggle my microphone input back on, I can begin dictating into this new job. Keek, what is your name? Kak, my name is John Smith. Keek, where do you work? I work for Advantage Software. And I forgot to get the answer in here, but I can always insert it later during editing. And for this example, I'm going to hit Control Q to stop the translation. And it prompts me to stop the translation. I'll press yes. And this time, since I use Control Q, in addition to closing the translation, it also closes the file. I'm not going to rename this file right now. And that's really all that there is to writing real time with Eclipse Vox. You simply need to provide Eclipse with a real time command, either via the instant real time button or the translate notes window. And once you're in the real time file, you're ready to toggle your microphone on if it isn't on automatically and start dictating. All of the voice codes that you trained in the previous steps should work because you provided them context with the contextual analysis. Any new voice codes that you add may require training if they could be confused for other words. However, unique utterances typically don't require a lot of contextual analysis in order to begin working correctly right away. In future videos, we'll go over how to continue providing Dragon contextual analysis and how to do so when you add new utterances. Before I end the video, I'd like to just give a few quick tips for voice writing. First, whenever you're not actively using Eclipse, make sure that it's closed. Next, don't leave your computer on all day every day. Make sure that you're turning your computer on and off regularly, preferably each workday. And last, remember to save your speech files only when you've made valuable changes to your speech model. Dragon will prompt you to save your speech model often, However, it's only necessary and valuable to do so when you have fed it valuable corrections. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content. Thanks so much and have a great day!